Hi friends, in this video, we'll solve a question from so-called word problems chapter, right? And for your information, there is no separate chapter called word problems. But the problem here is many aspirants start looking at word problems as a different chapter because in many of the standard books, even that is maintained as a separate chapter. So that is actually a mistake, but that should not have happened actually. Why? Because if you see any word problems, Word problem is nothing but representing arithmetic in words, in a sentences, right? Now, you should be in a position to decode the same uh, long base based question into arithmetic form, right? So, if you are good at arithmetic, then obviously you are good at word problems, right? So, my suggestion is don't look at uh, this uh, so-called arithmetic problems as word problems, right? don't look at word problems as a separate chapter. So you should be very comfortable in solving those questions, right? So I'm making this video especially because many people ask me to make separate videos on word problems, right? Anyway, let's solve this question. So you pause the video and try to solve this question on your own and look at the time as, time as well, right? How much time you are able to solve this question, right? Now, I'm pretty sure people will be using variables, right? So first of all, I will try solving this question using variables. Then I'll show you how to solve the question without using any variables and the method which I'm going to tell you, you can solve the question orally itself, right? Now let us solve the question. The question says there are two classrooms having certain number of students. If 10 students are transferred from first classroom to the second class, the ratio becomes five is to nine. If 10 students are transferred from the second to the first, the ratio becomes 1 is to 1, right? Done. Now, let us assume that there are x students in first class and there are y students in second class, right? Now, what happened is from first class, 10 people got transferred to second class, 10 people got added. What happened here is there are x students in class 1, there are y students in class 2. From class 1, 10 got transferred to class 2. Then what happens? New new, new people. If from x you will remove 10, that 10 you will give to y, right? So this ratio is given as 5 by 9. So what do you mean by this 5 by 9? The ratio becomes 5 by 9. That is what given here, right? Secondly, what they said is, so this 5 by 9, what happens is, this is a ratio. I told you clear difference between ratio and values, right? Since 5 is to 9 is a ratio, what I can say is 5a and 9a will be the values, right? So a ratio is nothing but you are cancelling out some common term. If you give back that common term, then what happens? From the ratio, you will get back the values, right? So I can assume 5a, 9a as my values or I can assume 5b, 9b as my values, right? So for now, I can assume 5a, 9a are the actual values. That means actual number of students in uh, once this transaction happened. Now what happened is out of this 5a 9a now there are from 9a 10 students from the test 10 students are transferred from the second class to the first class right. So what happened is from second class 10 students are going and joining in first class right. Then the ratio becomes 1 is to 1 that's what given in the question right 1 is to 1. So I will simplify this so if I simplify this, what happens is 9a minus 10 is equal to 5a plus 10. So here if we take this side, 4a is equal to 20, so a is equal to 5. That's it, right? a is equal to 5. So what happened is here if you see, here at this step if you see, so x minus 10 by y plus 10 is equal to, here it is 5a, 9a, right? So 5 by 9 is the ratio. So what is the value 5a, 9a? So a and a get cancelled and you are getting 5 is to 9. So the values will be 5 into a is nothing but 5. 9 into a is nothing but 45. So it will be 25 by 45. Now x minus 10 by y plus 10 is equal to 25 by 45. So what is the meaning of this step? So what is the meaning of this step is when 10 people came out of class X, right? Or uh, from the first class uh, and joined in uh, second class, then the number of students, this is actually value, right? This is value. Everyone must clearly understand what is the difference between ratio and value, right? 5 by 9 is a ratio. 5a by 9a is a value, right? Now, 
so the meaning of this is when 10 students leave the class a right the class a strength becomes 25 that is the meaning of this right so what you can say from this step when 10 students are leaving out from class a class x there are 25 students left behind right that means what is the initial number initial number will be 35 number 35 students in class x similarly when 10 students joined in class Y, the strength of class Y became 45. So what is the original strength of class Y? It is also 35. Why? Because from 45 you need to remove 10. So Y strength is 35. So this is your answer. That's it. So you are asked to find find the number of students in each class. So if you, if you start solving this one, see here, you got the strength, right? 35 and 45, 35 and 35. So let us check, okay? Now let us come from the beginning. He said there are 10 people transfer from x to y so once 10 people leave this class here it will be 25 and here it will be 45 and this ratio should be equal to 5 is to 9 can you check it right 25 is to 45 will be 5 cancels both that both the numbers in 5 is to 9 right 5 is are fine answer now this is satisfied second condition is from second class 10 people goes to first class means then the ratio will be 1 is to 1 so take 10 from 45 it will become 35 and give this 10 to 25 this also will become 35 see here also you are getting 1 is to 1 ratio that means your actual strength of class x and class y is 35 and 35 that's it right this is the this is how people will solve the question. People who knows the clear cut difference between ratio, ratios and values, they will be solving the question in this way, right? But if you still, and uh, this is uh, not a option based question, this is a blank based question. So the question is like this, here you will be given a box, that's it, okay? So uh, two boxes will be there, x is 35, y is 35 or they can ask what is the total value of uh, or they can ask only for what is the value of x and all x also right x or y so now if they are given options then it will be very easy right you can backtrack and you can do it, do the question right that's it now let us solve in a smarter way see this i'll assume initially there are x people in uh, first class y people in second class now what happened 10 people left from first class and joined second class so ratio is 5 is to 9 again from once this step is done from here 10 people go from 9 and join 5 right then the ratio becomes 1 is to 1 done now clearly you have to observe one thing here what is being constant see observing the change is very important in arithmetic right even in I told you in time and distance you will observe the changes right how which component is changing and which component is maintained constant that way we will be solving the questions right same here so if you take at this step there are the ratio is 5 is to 9 right now from 9 from class having 9 10 people are going to class having 5 then the ratio becomes 1 is to 1 so what is being constant here is total sum right total sum the here in this question there are no students getting added from the outside or there are no students who are exiting the class and going outside completely right so if you take the total strength of class x and class y the total is maintained constant right now see here 5 is to 9 so what is 5 plus 9 14 right but what is the value here 1 plus 1 2 so 2 must be made 14 right so that the total sum will be constant so let us multiply with 7 now what happens you will get 7 is to 7 right now if you see what is the total sum 14 right so just imagine like two glasses okay two glasses having one liquid here liquid B here just the water is being changed from glass to glass but if you take the total total water content in both the glasses that remains constant right the same logic I am applying here now if you see 5 is to 9 14 7 is to 7 14 now if you see here now I will erase this in between steps. So whatever 1 is to 1 is there, right? That is a false value. Actually, it should have been 7 is to 7, right? If you simplify 7 is to 7, you will get back 1 is to 1 as well, right? You will get back 1 is to 1 only, right? Now observe one thing here. 9 is becoming 7. How 9 is becoming 7? Because there is a decrease, right? There is a decrease of 10 people going to 5, right? Similarly, 5 is becoming 7. There is an increase of 2. Why so? Why? Because there are 10 people getting added. Now, if you see, these are ratios, right? 5 is to 9, 7 is to 7. These are ratios. So, there is an increase of 2 here. 
2 is a ratio the value of 2 is nothing but 10 why because actually there are not two people are not going from 9 to 5 there are actually 10 people going from 9 to 5 right but it is a, here we are getting the 2 so the 2 is getting from the ratios right so 2 2 parts is equal to 10 10 value so 1 will be equal to 5 that's it we got it right now 1 is 5 means what will be the value of 5 it will be 25 1 is 5 means 5 will be 5 into 5 25 1 is equivalent to 5 means 9 will be equivalent to 9 into 5 which is 45 that's it we got the sec number of students in the second step right so how did you get this step how did you get 25 and how did you get 45 so once people from class x 10 people left from class x and joined class y then there is 25 students and 45 students right what is the meaning of this if you backtrack what happens is there must have been 35 students here and there must have been 35 students here because since if there are 35 students and 10 students leave the class this number becomes 25 and if there are 35 in class y if 10 students joined class y it becomes 45 so from this you can say that x is equal to y is equal to 35 there are 35 students in each class right and this is how you have to solve now the same question if you are solving the question in this logic you will be able to solve the question orally itself right so i'll tell you see 5 is to 1 5 is to 9, 1 is to 1, total is 14 here, there is 2 here, multiply with 7, you will get 7 is to 7, that's it. From 9 to 7, there is a decrease of 2, that 2 value is equivalent to 10, why? Because there is a decrease of 10 actually, right? 2 equal to 10 means 1 will be 5, so that 5 will be 25, 9 will be 45, that's it. 25, 45 means at the previous step, just the step above, it will be 35 and 35, that's it, right? I hope you learned solving arithmetic the way I did in this video, right? Thank you.